Welcome back to our channel. Towards the end of the 19th century, the Sad Jiro III arranged a fight between a Barbary lion called Atlas, from the Atlas Mountains between Algeria and Morocco, and a man-eater Bengal tiger from the Indian region of Shimla, before an audience of thousands, according to the Gettysburg compiler and the Baltimore Sun. It was to determine whether the lion or the tiger should be called King of the Cat Family, or if the lion deserved the title King of Beasts. The fight took place in an amphitheater. It had heavy logs, was open to the sky, and its arena was circular, with a diameter of about 50.0 feet, 15.2 meters. Within the arena was a belt about 6.0 feet, 180 centimeters wide, lined by sheet iron to prevent the animals from escaping. The arena had seats or boxes for spectators. The Geekwad was on a royal box with other dignitaries. The beasts were shifted from their pens into wooden cages, which were then taken to the arena. After Rajput attendants left the ring, the Geekwad pulled the ropes, which were attached to the doors of the cages. First, the tiger emerged from its cage, then Atlas. The tiger was 10.5 feet, 320 centimeters, long, over 3.9 feet, 1.2 meters at the shoulder, had long teeth and claws, besides strong shoulders, and was agile. People considered it to be the biggest man-eater that they ever saw in India. They chose a Barbary lion to fight it, rather than an Asiatic lion in India, because the latter was considered to be too small or timorous to cope with the tiger. Atlas appeared taller than a tiger, and had a large mane, legs and paws, as the Atlas subspecies was the largest and most formidable of all African felids. Round 1 The tiger crawled forward, crouched flat, and calculated the distance for a spring at Atlas. Atlas' tail lashed at its sides, as it gave a deep roar and waited for the tiger to attack. The tiger sprang at Atlas, which then rose up on its hind legs and crashed with the tiger. The two yelled, snarled and rolled over on the ground. They regained their feet and shook to be free. When they parted from the clinch, Atlas swung his right clawed paw on the tiger's head, ripping its ear and scratching off skin. The tiger rolled off. Atlas went to get it and swiped its paw, but the tiger managed to twist away from Atlas' paw swipe and escaped. Then Atlas advanced, but the tiger retreated. Round 2 The tiger jumped into the air, landing on Atlas' back, though Atlas was about 20.0 feet, 6.1 meters away. At first, Atlas looked disgusted, but then it forced the tiger to the wall of the arena. However, the tiger did not decide to escape again, rather it ran, with its head nearly at the ground, towards Atlas' legs. Despite a crash, the tiger's head did not shake, and the two cats rose on their hind legs. For at least three minutes they exchanged right and left paw swipes. The tiger's paw swipes were faster than those of Atlas, outnumbering Atlas' paw swipes three to one. Atlas' paw swipes had been heavier, inflicting deeper gashes on the tiger's hide than those of the tiger to Atlas' hide. Both cats injured, they retreated from each other. Blood flew from their flanks. The tiger retreated to the wall to hug it, whereas Atlas stood his ground, even though blood was dripping from about 20 wounds, and roared ferociously. Round 3 after resting for a few moments, the tiger tried to circle Atlas, with Atlas looking worried, as his rushes did not stop the tiger at first. Then, sensing an opportunity, Atlas charged, but the tiger avoided the charge, and jumped onto Atlas back again. Their bodies, bloodied and dirtied by the dust, rolled halfway across the arena. Atlas shook himself off the tiger, and delivered right swipes. One of the swipes dealt a blow to the tiger, causing it to stagger and retreat, Round 4 After retreating, the tiger sat, studying how effective the previous tussle was. Atlas was mauled, but not yet killed, with two long rips on his back, having deep bites on the shoulder, which bled, and he panted hoarsely, with the wind flowing less evidently than that of the tiger. After observing Atlas for a moment, the tiger tried circling Atlas again. Atlas rushed, 
facing the tiger's claws. After the tussle, the lion, running out of breath, sank to his knees. The tiger, though it looked stronger, had its stripes disappear under fast-flowing blood. Round 5 The tiger sprang onto Atlas, who now staggered. It bit Atlas' nose, then tried to bite Atlas' throat. However, the mane saved Atlas' neck, so the tiger's bite did not suffocate Atlas. Instead, as they wrestled much, the tiger managed to get hair in its mouth, and the hair interfered with the tiger's respiration, so it had to release its hold on Atlas. Round 6 The tiger circled Atlas like a snake. Although Atlas looked formidable and brave, he could not follow the tiger's motions. Then the tiger charged at Atlas. Atlas used his claws, but he missed the tiger. The tiger frantically pawed Atlas' body, using both fore and hind paws for 40 seconds. He then teared Atlas' stomach. Atlas's intestines and stomach came out. Aftermath the Geekwad agreed to pay 37,000 rupees, ordered that Atlas' body be buried in royal fashion, and that the tiger was to be given a cage of honor in the menagerie of Baroda. He accepted that the tiger was the king of the cat family, while speaking to an English colonel called Maitland, and thought of a match between the tiger and another animal. Colonel Maitland, who supported the tiger, claimed to have hunted in the Rocky Mountains, and whose country features lions in symbols like the royal arms of England, then said that the tiger was not the king of carnival, and that it could be whipped by a grizzly bear. Therefore, the Geekwad decided to prepare the tiger for a battle with a Siren bear weighing over 1500 point as pounds, 680.39 kilograms. The preparation involved the tiger recovering from its injuries. The tiger, however, was not so lucky. Despite winning the arena, he passed away as a result of Atlas injuries. Thank you for joining me on this journey. If you enjoyed, give the video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of the ancient world with us here.